Hi and welcome back. I gotta get on with all of my paper reviews. I have so much different paper to try and talk about. This is from Clefontaine. It's called Crayon and it is uh, called Light Drawing Grained Paper. And on the back side, they're, usually they, they tell up here on the back side what it is usable with. But it just say light drawing grained paper. But there's a clue on the front page here. There's colored pencils. There is a graphite pencil and some hard uh, pastels here. So I'd say it is probably meant for um, dry drawing medias like like that probably also good for charcoal. I have this thing where I cut my paper up because I do small drawings rather than big ones. And um, I actually used a piece of, of this already. Uh, and I, I trimmed this drawing. It started out like that, but I trimmed it down. This is, uh, I was abusing this, you can see how shiny it is, and that's because I used drawing ink for parts of it. And um, I should probably have thinned that drawing ink out a bit, it, it's kind of, it was my bad. It is not very even and stuff, I was being too eager and put too much on. It went on fine first, but then I added more layers and stuff. And it it's not super suitable for, for wet uh, medias because it's, and that's typical for drawing paper. It is quite absorbent, so it tends to, to streak when you put a watercolor or ink, at least ink washes like this on it. Uh, if, you're, if you're using ink as in and you're lining something up, it works fine. But um, for covering large areas, it's not super good. The fish I mostly did with uh, alcohol markers. As you can see, it bled through. And I have used some markers on, on some of the tentacles here. And that worked quite okay. So this is my practice piece of stuff that the paper wasn't really supposed to work with. And I tend to, to try that sometimes with, with paper try uh, and other art materials. Try and see if there's something that wasn't supposed to work together that does work together. So the, the alcohol marker worked okay. It, it, I got a nice even coverage. The drawing ink, mm, not so much. So um, that was pretty much what I tested out with that. So that was the abuse test. Here's uh, the other half and I'm gonna test this out with um, stuff that it's meant to be used with. It's not particularly heavy by the way. It's uh, 160 GSM or a uh, 74 uh, pound paper. But usually for, for drawing paper that, that should be just fine. The heavy weight for watercolor is to reduce buggling and uh, for better water absorption. You don't need that in drawing paper. So um, here next to me I have two kinds of Durant pencils. These are really my spare pencils for my Colorsoft set, but I'll try them out a little bit here. Because they got this handy little 12 tin. I used two of them that is in my big tin, but I'm not taking that out. And here are six black and white pencils from Durand. These are, are the artist line. You can get this little tin separate with six white and six black that are, I think. I'm not sure if all of them are not in the, the regular sets or is it four of them. At least the, some of them uh, you can't buy open stock, but but you can buy them in this set. So there's kind of a 
a greenish black, a bluish black, and a really dark black. Let's say it's like lamp black, the, the one called Raven. Then there's a cold white called a Tist Arctic. And then there's one called Pure White. It's kind of still maybe a little bit on the warm side. And then Oyster, which is vaguely pink. So, um, uh, and I've picked these two because they're kind of in, in different end of the spectrum when it comes to hardness. These are color soft and the na as the name say, they're soft. The artists are the hardest pencils, colored pencils that I have at all. So um, that's, um, let's give it a, a try. A simple flower drawing here. I can feel that the paper is thin. It it has no. Um, it feels like I'm drawing directly on my surface there. It's a fairly hard paper. Um, I should probably just zoom in. So. My dear and darling viewers can see what I'm actually doing. <laughs> so, this first layer you can see the texture of the paper through the layer. But it feels nice and easy, it, it does take it quite well. Now, color soft are usually a little bit tricky to use. They work best on paper with a good deal of tooth like this one. So, um, and you need to be quite light-handed with them because it's very easy to to fill up the the tooth of the paper with with the wax that is in the pencil and then you can't do anything more. On smooth paper you get maybe three layers with these. But on a toothed surface it's better. Center there. I probably wouldn't try to do a super detailed re and high realistic drawing on this paper with colored pencils but you can definitely do some quite okay sketches this layer is kind of okay Put a little bit of a background around this flower because that yellow didn't show up much on, on camera. So I'm putting a little bit of a background on here to to create a a contrast. So 
so you can see it better. And then you can also better see how you sh the the texture shows through the a first layer of the pencil. When you can see the white of the paper through the layer, it means that there's plenty of tooth to, to still take more layers. So, for colored pencil, this, this is for people who is okay with doing several layers, or you might want to use a some kind of solvent that can be cysted or odorless mineral spirit or whatever you use for that kind of stuff. I haven't tried how the paper takes this because it's kind of cold. So I don't want to open my windows up too much at the moment, even though we're in June. I'm also still wearing a sweater indoors. Um, so, I still hope for summer, so we can open the windows and air out, and I can start doing oil painting again. Trying to layer on another color here, too to show that it can take another layer. I could go on for a good long while, that was quite a few layers that that accepted. Um, so, um, Color Soft was okay. Absolutely worked fine. So, let us have a look at this. Probably makes most sense. Just testing the, the blacks. Let me try and draw up a raven. Now that we got in one named that. So now these pencils are quite hard, but they don't feel hard on this paper at all. I don't feel a huge difference from the Colorsoft, except that these um, give a finer line. Soft 
and holds the point better. But they absolutely give off nice amounts of, of color. Too higher than the head here. Midnight, I use there. So let's try the color actually called Raven. It just works brilliant. These, um, Artist pencils are kind of maybe not the most popular of Derwent's pencil brands because there's lots of people who doesn't like that they are so hard. Um, and the people I hear complain the most about them are people who are used to. Oh, what are they called? They're called Prismacolors, and to some extent I can understand why people get shocked when they go from Prismacolor to these, because these uh, are meant to be worked in a different manner. Soft pencils, you get a lot of color worked up or placed on the paper and in without much effort. Then if you use the same pressure um, especially if you're using fairly smooth paper and you come in with a hard pencil. It seems like there's no pigment in, in that hard pencil. But it is hard so it doesn't give off as much per per stroke with the same the same pressure. So hard pencils are good for detailing and for layering up things slowly. And so you get your color mixes and your color intensity slowly build up. It gives you more control, but it of course also requires some more patience because it takes longer. But you can make small mistakes and you can correct them on, on as you go. Now, whether or not you like to be able to see the the pencil the paper through the pencil is a matter of taste I think if you don't um, you can try I'll actually try something here because I think I got one yeah go you can um, as I said use solvents of different kind. Here I have a blender pencil from a Pro Marker. I don't really use that with my markers and you can use them with colored pencils as well if you want to dissolve the wax and have the pigment fill in the the tooth of the paper. Okay, I'm just gonna let the eye disappear here and see if we can bring something back up. So this gives it more a uh, look like it's been painted. I think the personally that the the blender the markers 
are a bit harsh for this job because there's it just blends everything out the same way. It could be that I just haven't tried it enough times, so I I don't have the right touch for it, the right feel. But it is an option, and they don't stink as bad as uh, solvent does. And you need to clean your blender off before you put it away, otherwise you, of course, have all these pigments. And you should do that on a scrap paper, not on your drawing paper. Just kind of scribble until it comes. It's, the scribble looks clean. The nip is usually ruined in terms of how it looks. So that works on this paper at least. We'll leave it to dry. And we'll get back to that. Over in my little cute set of drawers, I got charcoal. I got both compressed and natural charcoal. And I've got drawing heart, heart drawing uh, pastels, so sepia, and here's a sanguine, and here's a white. I got a black one as well. They're all broken up. And here I actually got some polychromos pastels as well. So let's try those out. These are kind of other types of dry. I'll try continue the raven here with what's brilliant with charcoal by the looks of it. Try the heart pressed one. This is ground up and pressed into to shape again. So it's a little harder and maybe a little bit more predictable than the because this one you can't tell, but this is just a little willow twig that has been cindered. So when when they press them ground it up and press it that you get a more predictable hardness and more uniform product and it's if you prefer one or the other is some very personal choice it holds on to the the charcoal quite well. You can smudge it, but it doesn't go kind of all over the place, which is nice. This one is also a little warmer in tone than the pressed charcoal. Still works good too.
again because it's hard. It doesn't smudge as much as as uh, zoom out a little bit. The softer things are, the easier they are to. to blend out and spread out and yeah I love charcoal but you get dirty fingers with it yeah and the hard pastel here and sanguine is fine as well Well, that was pencil up there. <laughs> well, after I wetted the, the pencil, I could actually get the pastel to stick on to, to it. So, that was a happy accident. I got tested out there. So yeah, I'm quite happy with this this paper. Let's try some of this pink stuff. Put it a bit in here and there. Yep. Um I probably like it better as a pastel paper than a pencil paper. But definitely worth using for drawing and sketching. Clairefontaine is, is one of those companies that actually by and large delivers all the time. Art companies can't live very long if they don't produce good stuff. Because there are, well there are lots of artists in the world, it's not that, but it's, it's a kind of a narrow market. And, um, yeah, if you don't deliver a fairly trustworthy product, you, they, they just disappear after a while. So, yeah, all the dry, I haven't tried graphite, but I can't imagine that it is not good. Let's try some. I got some graphite sticks here. There's a 6B, a 3B, and a HB. This is an HB of that 
it's kind of medium hard. Pencil and yeah. Let's skip the three B and go straight to the soft one. Black one here. So it holds because it's kind of a hard paper. It it holds a well-defined line even with a soft pencil. That's quite good. Have any clean fingers left? Yeah, you can't blend it out if you like. But not too easily, and that that's good because uh, if the paper doesn't hold on to the pigment well enough, then, then it's it smudges too much as you work. So, clear up on pain, crayon, absolutely. Now I started out, I thought it was going to make little samples, and then it went artistic. <laughs> um, but yeah, pastels, really good. Graphite, quite okay. Charcoal, great. Pencils, color pencils, uh, I have to say, for color pencils, I actually like the pastel mat better but this will do this will do for for sketches and, and lighter drawings or could probably work up a, um, a pencil call a pencil drawing on here actually the white goes on that black that I blended out quite nicely so, uh, so yeah thumbs up from me if you if you want something to draw on that is quite decent the price is kind of I'd say intermediate for drawing paper it's not the least expensive but it's also not the most expensive drawing paper I've had uh, that pad in Danish prices cost me about 13 euros for an A4 and there is 30 sheets on here so so yeah um, maybe not for one you would buy for just quick sketches uh, where you just put a few lines on the drawing and then go on but uh, but for something like this where you're testing stuff out maybe with colors and and going into more detail and layers that is actually quite good for for that um so thank you all for watching please throw me a like and a subscribe if you didn't already bye